Welcome back, my dear sweet friends. My name is Emmy, my husband is Paul, and this is the Channel Frugal Money Saver. Happy Friday! So good to see you all. We made it to the weekend together, right? So happy you have joined us. If you're new here, welcome. My husband and I are an early retirement debt and mortgage-free couple living in the state of New York, and our videos show you how to have a full abundant life while spending less money. So if this sounds good to you, click that subscribe button. Come on in and be part of our frugal family. Today's video, we just packed it full. First thing we're gonna share with you is our grocery haul. Just a small one, see how much we spent, see how much we have left of our $100 for Forward February, where we're trying to keep our food budget low, but yet still make sure we are well stocked with food in our homes. And then we're gonna be making, oh, it was so good, a one pot creamy macaroni and cheese. Paul, you don't even like macaroni and cheese. How was it? No, I, I, I didn't like macaroni and cheese, but now I do <laughs> because that was absolutely fantastic. He had three helpings. Well, two helpings and then a little extra. Okay, that's how good this was. Yeah, you it was have. really good. You guys got to make it. You got to try it. And then Paul put together a small DIY for me because this whole video is about swapping out, making changes, doing what we can to save money, yet not feeling deprived, not feeling like we're missing out on anything. You can pause me now if you wanna get a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. I want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy. The first thing we're going to do is a little food shopping. Here we go. We are going to go food shopping. You can see what we have. Milk, we got eggs, condiments. I have that container of sour cream. I had bought it tops and we never opened it. I've got some uh, regatta left after I made my in-laws the lasagna. I still have some yogurt. We have apple, cucumber we didn't use yet. Carrots. I still have romaine. I am going to probably have to get celery, definitely. And, oh, these are hot cocoa bombs someone made us for Christmas. Aren't they beautiful? One of the people my son works with gave them to us. Just gorgeous. We still have cream cheese. I got bacon out of the freezer. We got our butter. I got a half of mozzarella left. So we're doing okay. So the freezer's a little messy, so I apologize for that, but I made a big thing of chicken stock the other day. Still have that roast beef we bought a while ago. My pie crusts are back there. I have some frozen woods it out. Oh, this is a stolen someone gave us for Christmas. This is the leftover mac and cheese that we froze. Oh my goodness, we're really good on meat. This is a turkey breast, two whole chickens. We have a prime rib left over from the holidays. I have the ham. Another carcass that I froze for more soup. We have chicken breast. I have this all inventory. I just not very organized right now. Oh. I've got some sausage, another pound of bacon still, ground beef. So we're really good. And then the little freezer in the other room is stocked with all frozen vegetables. On my baking shelf, I still have a bag of nuts, mini marshmallows, two bags of chocolate chip, the two containers of walnuts from the holidays. I bought all this stuff at the holidays. I have one, two, three, four, four pound bags of sugar. I've got flour back there, and I have a half a container of bread flour here, all different kinds of pastas. So as you can see, we're really doing okay. Inside the pantry, we have pasta, egg noodles, pumpkin, mayonnaise, canned goods, pickles, a 
big thing of olive oil back there. Stocked up still on tea and coffee. Brownie mixes, cake mixes. We still have a can of frosting. So here's our little haul. I think we did good. We did pick up a couple of specialty items, but you'll see. So we did pick up the cuties. They were three pounds for $3.99. And we will split this bag. I'll give half to my son because this is just a lot of cuties. I picked up some kale and this organic kale was $1.49 for this head, which I thought was really good. I want to make a Zuppa Toscana. If you've ever had that at Olive Garden, it's got kale and potatoes and sausage in it. It's a soup and it is really good. We got the organic celery, $2.69. It was expensive, but you're going to see I made up for it in the onions. They had two pound bag of the red onions for 99 cents. I am going to try the red onions. If you've been with me a while, you know what happened when I did the yellow onions. I swore never again. I usually get the white sweet onions. And when you guys told me, get the bag of onions, the yellow onions are so cheap, I couldn't even get through an onion. I was crying. Oh, it was horrible. So we're going to try these. I get a head of garlic, which was 52 cents. Some bananas, which were 67 cents. Let me tell you, bananas are one of the best values ever. They really are. If you remember my video where I did the four meals out of one chicken, one of the meals was a barbecue chicken we made in the crock pot. And we froze some of it and we're gonna pull it out for Sunday Super Bowl and have the pulled chicken sandwiches. And I wanted to make a small thing of coleslaw. There were some giant heads of cabbage and then there were little heads of cabbage. This little guy right here cost me 79 cents. So I thought that was a great deal. I'm going to make coleslaw. Bag of already prepared coleslaw was $1.99. And really all it is is chopped cabbage. So <laughs> I figured I can do that ourselves. We did get a bag of tortellini. This is my go-to when I really don't feel like cooking. They were on sale for $1.99, which was great. Now this was a super special. It's Nathan's All Beef Hot Dogs. You know, we really don't ever eat hot dogs. You'll very, very rarely see them. It is almost grilling time here in the Northeast and these all beef hot dogs were $1.99. So they will go right into the freezer for a quick impromptu party one day this spring. The Galbani cheese was $2.99 and some super sweet viewer, and you know who you are, sent me some $2 coupons off of Galbani. So this cost me 99 cents, so thank you. For Valentine's Day, I asked Paul what he wanted. What did you tell me you wanted? New England clam chowder. So I am gonna make some homemade New England clam chowder and I'm gonna make some bread bowls to go with it. So I thought that would be perfect. And this is something he really wanted. They were $2.29 a can, which I thought was great. They're wild caught from the USA. So I was really happy about that. So that's what we're having for Valentine's. I needed baking powder, which was $2.49 this giant jar of salsa. Oh my goodness, it's a pound and a half, I think. Yeah, 24 ounces, $1.99 for the bowl and basket. We grab that. Now, if you remember, I pulled out that jar of sticky fingers to make the pulled chicken sandwiches a couple weeks ago. They had it on special again, 99 cents for the 18 ounce jar. This will go right into the pantry. Crackers! Okay, they didn't have the unsalted that I was looking for, but they had townhouse crackers. They were two for five, then a dollar digital off of one and another dollar digital off of two. They were two for three dollars, so I paid a dollar fifty a box. I haven't seen that price in a very long time. So they really had some good specials at ShopRite. Ken's, the Caesar, we love that, and the ranch. I have tried to make ranch before, just doesn't come out. These were on super special. These giant bottles were $1.50 each. So they will go into the pantry as well. And then the last thing that was a super splurge for me, 
was this Chobani coffee creamer, but I put it in my tea. It was Almond Coco Loco. So it's got almond, chocolate, coconut flavors. It just makes a really delightful cup of tea. It was 99 cents. So this is everything we got. This came to $31.20, so we're going to say about $31. Our last haul at the beginning of February was $38, and we're trying to stick around the $100 limit for the month. Now, will we make it? I'm hoping so. We still have $31 left for the month if we stick with that $100, and we are well stocked. And as you saw, we did get a couple of low price, I guess you'd call them splurge items, that Chobani creamer. I would never have bought that, but for 99 cents, what a treat. And even the hot dogs, not something we normally buy, but at $1.99 for all beef hot dogs, somebody can come over, we grab a bag of chips, some pickles, an instant fun gathering. So we're trying to incorporate these low price items, not a lot of them because they're little splurges. Honestly, that's what they are. And as you saw, we still are stocked on meat and food. And again, I'm going to reiterate this. Do not deplete your supply of food in your home. I know we are all watching our pennies now and watching where our money is going. But please, please, you see those low prices, buy those items and put them away, even like we did with the hot dogs. Giant jar of salsa was $1.99. When you see these low priced items, get them and put them away. We don't know about the food chain and the supplies and all that. So we have to make sure, even though we're watching our food budget, we have to make sure we have food in the house as well. Now, we're gonna get into the kitchen and we are going to make some of the best macaroni and cheese I guarantee you will ever taste. So turn this camera around, here we go. We're trying a recipe for the very first time tonight with you all. We're gonna be making some creamy one pot mac and cheese from scratch. We're gonna be using a 12 ounce can of evaporated milk, 12 ounces of dried pasta. Can you see these? This is Dechaco, which is a wonderful pasta. And we found it on clearance, I don't know, sometime in the fall, I think, and it's been sitting back there. They're baby tennis rackets. <laughs> so that's gonna be so fun, I thought. I need eight ounces of cheese, and I've got a piece of medium cheddar from, I don't know, but it was still good. And the Colby cheese came out of the freezer, so we're going to use that. It looks like a really simple recipe. And the best part is it cooks in one pot. So you're not boiling the water in one pot and making the sauce in the other. Everything is together. So let's get right to this. This is a pound of pasta. We only need 12 ounces, so I'm measuring it out. And we have exactly 12 ounces in this bowl. Look at this pasta. In my lifetime, I have never seen anything like this. I guess that's why it was marked down so cheaply. In this saucepan, I am putting my 12 ounces of evaporated milk and one, two cups of water. And now what we're going to do is we are heating this on medium high heat just till it's warm. So we're not boiling this yet, just heating it through. That's all we're doing. So this warmed up for just about a minute. And now I'm going to take our pasta and add it right in. The pasta's in and it says not to cover it, but bring it to a boil. I have it on medium high heat. So I'm just gonna leave it till it boils. It does say to stir it occasionally. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And we're going to bring this to a boil. I love my digital scale. I tell you all the time how much this is such a handy kitchen gadget. You got this in Goodwill for me, right? Yep, I, mean, I did. What did. I don't even remember. It's like $1.99 or yeah. something, I don't know. Love it. It saves money. Instead of guesstimating the amounts we're putting into these recipes, we're doing exactly what the recipe is telling us to do. 
So this is eight ounces of grated cheese. Again, use what you have. So many people will say only use cheddar, only use Colby, only use American. Use what you have. It's cheesy. It's delicious. You can't lose. So we have our eight ounce of a mixture of some cheddar and like a Colby cheese, I think I said. So this is going to be so good. Now that this has come to a boil, I'm going to lower it to low. While it's coming to the boil, you have to keep mixing it and stirring it because it will stick to the bottom. Now I lowered it all the way down to low. I covered it. We're going to let it cook for about seven to eight minutes or until that pasta is al dente, which means it's got a nice little bite to it. It's not too mushy and it's not too hard. Right in the middle. Every couple of minutes, please take the top off, give it a good stir. You can see the pasta is absorbing the water already. Also, be careful it doesn't boil over. Don't go far from this pot when you put it on because a minute ago it had actually bubbled up and I have it on the lowest possible temperature. This is what I mean. This is not a dish you walk away from. You're going to stay here and watch it while it's cooking, please. You don't want this boiling all over your nice clean stove. So our pasta cooked for nine minutes because it just wasn't done. It was a little too hard. My advice to you is to use like an elbow or a spiral. These little uh, tennis rackets are thick and <laughs> I think that's why it took so long, but it's great and the milk did not evaporate. I'm gonna add about a half a tablespoon of butter to this. Mix that in a little bit. Now, I never said this was heart healthy. This is like a splurge, once in a blue moon. We are going to take our eight ounces of cheese, which seems like a lot of cheese to Emmy. So we're gonna put, start with half of it. Am I bad, you guys? I'm always like, oh, that's too much butter, that's too much cheese. But we're gonna mix this together. And at this point, you can add a little bit of garlic powder onion powder, cracked black pepper, whatever you prefer. Well, this is looking pretty darn cheesy. Oh my goodness. Let's add a little bit more cheese. Okay, we're still mixing. Wow, it's just getting cheesier and cheesier. I added all eight ounces of cheese. Would you look at this? <laughs> I want you all to come over and have a big dish of this with us. It's it's mac and cheese. It's not mac with a little cheese. It's mac and cheese. I tried to get away with using less cheese. And what did you tell me, Paul? I want to make sure you can see the cheese color in the macaroni. <laughs> okay, well, you definitely can. This looks super cheesy. I'm going to plate this up. We'll let you know how it is. Here is dinner. We've got our amazing mac and cheese. We got just a toss green salad. I still have to dress it. And then I just made some panko breaded chicken cutlets in the oven. This looks amazing. Can you get a close up of the cheese on that mac and cheese? Oh yeah. So we're super excited to have this meal and we will let you know how it is. I love that it was one pot. So let's hope it tastes as good as it looks. Yes, yes, that's all I can say. So good. Oh, it is not heart healthy, but I'm telling you for a treat, so good. The only thing I'm going to advise you is don't use a thick pasta like I did. It just took way too long to cook, it really did. So like I said, use elbows or maybe a spiral, something like that. And you do have to man the stove, don't walk away from this dish. So if you can give seven, eight minutes of your life standing at that stove during that pasta and watching it, you will be greatly rewarded, honestly. So good! Now we're gonna just pop in with Paul. A while ago, I had bought two items in the fall at Hobby Lobby. They were 90% off and I wanted to use them for the little house in South Carolina. And my son came up with an idea for these two items. So for Valentine's Day, I asked Paul if he would make this item come to life for me. He filmed it and I think you are going to be super pleased. Again, using what we have, minimal cost, and it came out absolutely beautiful. So take a peek at this. We have two signs here that we found at Hobby Lobby that were 90% off. So we paid 
practically change for these guys. Emmy thought they would be nice in South Carolina for decoration. Our son looked at it and he said, hey, if you took these and put them together with a hinge, you could open them and close them and you could put things inside them. Well, one of the things we get in South Carolina are these little beach day catalogs that have all kinds of fun coupons for all the fun foods and places to go. These are old vintage ones, but we keep these on our coffee table in South Carolina. When we go to the beach, we take one with us in the car. So Emmy thought it would be neat to put them inside this little box. I went to Home Depot and I picked up these little tiny hinges and I got this little clasp to hold the box. I think altogether it's like five dollars, five and change. So this is going to be a great little asset to this box. Let's get started. Now the inside of this is kind of ugly. It's got this sticker on here which isn't going to come off very well. There was another sticker here. I found a roll of paper in our gift wrapping closet that's got scripture on it. And I thought that would be nice to line the inside of the box. So I cut the paper to fit inside. So we're going to glue that in with this glue stick. There we go. So I'm going to measure about two inches and put a hinge. I made four holes all together, two on this side and two on this side to hold the first hinge. Well, we got the hinges in and I used this little Phillips screwdriver. So now the box opens and closes up beautifully. So now let's put the clasp on. So we're going to find the center of the box. This box is 10 inches. So I'm going to go five inches brings me to here. Now we have to figure out the clasp. So I would imagine the clasp can go here and this guy's going to go here. Once again, I started with two small holes to start the screws and now we're going to screw, screw in the bottom half of the clasp. And there's the little clasp. I had to put a couple washers, little washers behind this so that it would clear all the screws, but it seems to work pretty good. And there's the little box. Wasn't that precious? Honestly, I am so excited. It's already packed in a little box for when we go down. Simple, it took him no time to put together and it's actually lovely. It's lovely. He repurposed wrapping paper. I mean, he was really creative with it and I am very thankful. So it was an early Valentine's gift for me and I couldn't be more thrilled. Well, I hope this video was helpful. We hope it was encouraging and we hope it brought a smile to your face somewhere along the line because that is what it's all about. It's living every day to its absolute fullest. If you have not subscribed, click that subscribe button and come on in. Thank you for letting us reach 19,000 subscribers. We are on to 20,000. Wait, we are going to have a huge blowout party, giveaways, everything once we hit that 20,000 mark because that is monumental and we could not have done it without you. So thank you. Again, it always humbles us. Please give this a thumbs up. Today's question of the day is, do you have a specific tiny little splurge item that if it goes on sale, you buy it. Come on, let's be honest. I told you I got the Chobani for 99 cents, not something I would normally buy, but I did it. Is there a splurge item that if you see it on sale, you grab it? Share with us what that is. I love to read your comments and it helps us to get to know you all a little better. You know so much about us. So when we can get little tidbits about you, it's always so much fun for us. So thank you again for being here. We ask you to stay well. We ask you to stay safe. Remember, we love you. And above all, we wish you blessings. Until our next video, bye-bye.